Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Prayer. Today is November the 7th, 2022. And as I promised before, I just wanted to bring our attention to all the different types of resources that we have online now that we have the internet that you can, anywhere uh, with a device, you can pray morning prayer, afternoon prayer, evening prayer, and compline anywhere. You can pull it up on your device. And I will be sharing with you um, uh, the certain sites that I use over the course of the week. And uh, as we move the morning prayer, I will announce at the beginning what we're using. Also, there's always the contemporary prayer book and, of course, the book of pr uh, common prayer. We have so many resources online. If you go to bcponline.org, you see not only our prayer book here in the United States, the Episcopal Church, but the Anglican uh, com uh, Communion has just a variety of resources and prayer books there that I urge you to look through and to just buzz around that site. Go to the Daily Lectionary, lectionarypage.org, uh, and our dot net, I'm sorry, and look at the daily readings for the week. Uh, it's it's a, a mar they're marvelous resources there for us. Today, we're going to be using the dailyoffice.app. And when you go to that site, it will give you uh, uh, a chance to pick the day and then pick the office. And we do morning prayer. So if you'd like, do dailyoffice.app, and it will give you the entire prayer sequence for today. A reading from Psalm 122. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. And this morning, the Jubilate. You can click that little button and change from Benite, Jubilate, the Pascha Nostrum, uh, or Psalm 95. And this morning, we're going to be doing the Jubilate. And there's an antiphon there, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God and he himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore them, him. As we move through our different uh, sites, you will see variations um, in, in how we pray morning prayer. So just take note of that. That's the uh, beauty of Anglicanism, the flexibility, the elasticity, the tolerance for all types of prayer, beliefs, people, the human condition. Our first appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 35, in unison, together, in community. Fight those who fight me, O Lord. Attack those who are attacking me. Take up shield and armor and rise up to help me. Draw the sword and bar the way against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek after my life be shamed and humbled. Let those who plot my ruin fall back and be dismayed. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord drive them away. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord drive them away. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For they have secretly spread a net for me without a cause. Without a cause they have dug a pit to take me alive. Let ruin come upon them unawares. Let them be caught in the net they hid. Let them fall into the pit they dug. Then I will be joyful in the Lord. I will glory in his victory. My very bones will say, Lord, who is like you? You deliver the poor from those who are too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Malicious witnesses rise up against me. They charge me with matters I know nothing about. They pay me evil in exchange for good. My soul is full of despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth and humbled myself by fasting. I prayed with my whole heart as one would for a friend or a brother. I behaved like one who mourns for his mother, bowed down and grieving. But when I stumbled, they were glad and gathered together. They gathered against me. 
Strangers whom I did not know tore me to pieces and would not stop. They put me to the test and mocked me. They gnashed at me with their teeth. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from the roaring beasts and my life from the young lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you in the mighty throng. Do not let my treacherous foes rejoice over me, nor let those who hate me without a cause wink at each other. For they do not plan for peace, but invent deceitful schemes against the quiet in the land. They opened their mouths at me and said, Aha! We saw it with our own eyes. You saw it, O Lord. Do not be silent. O Lord, be not far from me. Awake, arise to my cause, to my defense, my God and my Lord. Give me justice, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let them triumph over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, Aha, just what we want. Do not let them say, We have swallowed him up. Let all who rejoice at my ruin be ashamed and disgraced. Let those who boast against me be clothed with dismay and shame. Let those who favor my cause sing out with joy and be glad. Let them say always, Great is the Lord who desires the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall be talking of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Psalm 36. There is a voice of rebellion deep in the heart of the wicked. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He flatters himself in his own eyes that his hateful sin will not be found out. The words of his mouth are wicked and deceitful. He has left off acting wisely and doing good. He thinks up wickedness upon his bed and has set himself in no good way. He does not abhor that which is evil. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains. Your justice is like the great deep. And you save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and let your favor to those be true to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of the proud come near me, nor the hand of the wicked push me aside. See how they are fallen, those who work wickedness. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Gloria to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You may have noticed that in this particular uh, site, we read all of, all of our Psalms and then did the Gloria Patri. Other sites, as you will see as we move through, and you probably already know, do the Gloria Patri after every Psalm. Interesting. A reading from the book of Joel. Joel. <clears throat> the word of the Lord that came to Joel, son of Pethuel. Hear this, O elders. Pethuel, excuse me. Give ear, all inhabitants of the land. Has such a thing happened in your days or in the days of your ancestors? Tell your children of it, and let your children tell their children and their children another generation. What the cutting locust left, the swarming locust has eaten. What the swarming locust left, the hopping locust has eaten. And what the hopping locust left, the destroying, the, the destroying locust has eaten. Wake up, you drunkards, and weep. And wail, all you wine drinkers, over the sweet wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation has invaded my land, powerful and innumerable. Its teeth are lion's teeth, and it has the fangs of a lioness. It has laid waste my vines and splintered my fig trees. It has stripped off their bark and thrown it down. Their branches have turned white. Lament like a virgin, dressed in sackcloth for the husband of her youth. The grain offering and the drink offering are cut off from the house of the Lord. The priests mourn, the ministers of the Lord. The fields are devastated, the ground mourns, for the grain is destroyed. The wine dries up, the oil fails. Be dismayed, you farmers, wail, you vine dressers, over the wheat and the barley, for the crops of the field are ruined. The vine withers, the fig tree droops, pomegranate, palm, and apple. All the trees of the field are dried up. Surely joy withers away among the people. Put on sackcloth and lament, you priests. Wail, you ministers of the altar. Come, pass the night in sackcloth, you ministers of my God. Grain offering and drink offering are withheld from the house of your God. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this morning is the first song of Isaiah, Echideus. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation, and on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Revelation to John. The merchants of these wares who gained wealth from her will stand far off in fear of her torment, weeping and mourning aloud. Alas, alas, the great city, clothed in fine linen, in purple and scarlet, adorned with gold, with jewels and with pearls. For in one hour all this wealth has been laid waste. And all shipmasters and seafarers, sailors and all whose trade is on the sea, stood far off and cried out as they saw the smoke of her burning. What city was like the great city? And they threw dust on their heads as they wept and mourned, crying out, Alas, alas, the great city, where all who had ships at the sea grew rich by her wealth. For in one hour she has been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, you saints and apostles and prophets, for God has given judgment for you against her. Then a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, With such violence Babylon, the great city, will be thrown down and will be no more. And the sound of harpists and minstrels and of flutists and trumpeters will be heard in you no more. And an artisan of any trade will be found in you no more. And the sound of the millstone will be heard in you no more. And the light of a lamp will shine in you no more. And the voice of a bridegroom and bride will be heard in you no more. For your merchants were the magnets of the earth, and all nations were deceived by your sorcery. And in you was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all who had been slaughtered on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Magna et mirabilia together. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. 
Almighty and everlasting God, who called your servant will abroad to proclaim your gospel to the people of the low countries, raise up in this and every land evangelists and heralds of your kingdom, that your church may proclaim the unsearchable riches of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And today we do commemorate the legacy of Willibrod. A collect for the renewal of life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace that, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the mission of the church. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now bring our own needs and intercessions and intentions before the Lord and ask for his indulgence, his mercy, and in many cases, his forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. You will notice on this, this particular app, Daily Office, there is no... Um, uh, great uh, general thanksgiving or a prayer of St. Chrysostom. So I will add that, the prayer of St. Chrysostom myself. I love that prayer. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for morning prayer again. We hope that you will join us each and every day. Just look for us on our Facebook pages and YouTube channels. And uh, let's pray together. Spend a little bit of time with uh, the Lord and uh, start our days off right. I know that it's uh, maybe uh, uh, not always possible, but we're always here for you. God bless you. Have a great day. Let Jesus be the first one you remember and the last one you forget. Leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning, and we're all going to be okay. Thank you.